Drink all the wine you want without the fear of having a hangover tomorrow. A professor at the University of Illinois says that his team of engineers has engineered a new strain of yeast that decreases the toxic byproducts which make you feel awful the next day. In other words, all the good things about the wine, you get to keep them. And all the things that make your head hurt tomorrow, those go away. It's a miracle. He also says this new type of yeast might make any fermented food healthier, including bread and mm, beer. Kennedy is here. This is spectacular as you live in an alcohol-free Lent world. Oh, I know, Shep, and it, it hurt my feelings yesterday on St. Patrick's Day. It had to. Have. I should have been knee-deep in a vat of Jameson's. You should have I been. I wasn't. Adisu has a video. No, no, it's Chris, the audio guy, has yeah. a video of people fighting to the death in the street out there yesterday, and if, had they had this problem, they'd feel fine today. Well, they would feel fine today because the problem with yeast <laughs> is improper fermentation, which we all know, the improper malolactic uh, fermentation. Mm. And... Yeast has uh, certain strains of yeast, like the Saccharomyces cerevisiae, uh, is able to autocorrect its own genes. So if there's a bad gene in there that ferments too much and you try and take it out, as they have in the past, it just puts the bad genes right back in there. But they have developed the genome knife and they are using enzymes to take those bad genes and shuffle them up a little bit and take them completely out of there, cut them out of the picture, so you're left with the good part of the yeast gene. Therefore, that means no more improper fermentation. That means no more hangovers. And they can actually uh, put in more of the really good stuff, the reservatrol. And that's where you get the health benefits from wine. People always harsh the vibe of GMOs, genetically modified organisms, but this is genetic modification at its finest, at its winest. And I say that we should dinest on this great news. Finest. Mm. Sarah, did you get any of that? Uh, A little bit. You were busy working on other things? Because that was... That was a mouthful. If I understand, there, there's yeast in there. There, are, there is yeast. There's bad yeast, Shep. <laughs> and, and they're taking the bad yeast and doing what with it? They're what are taking, they putting They're taking the, the yeast, which has the improper fermentation. We'll just call it infected. Okay. I don't think so. No? All right, go on. <laughs> we should I don't have know infected anything. yeast anywhere on the news deck. Okay. But they, they take the, the part of the yeast that tells itself to replicate itself. Mm-hmm. They take that out so only the good part remains. And therefore, the bad part that causes the hangover, mm-hmm. they can now extract that with this, this human genome knife technology with the enzymes. Then we can serve wine here on the deck. We can serve wine. And there are people who are hungover today who say this would have been helpful information yesterday. It really would have been.